Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you here again. Uh, just two weeks ago, we provided the 2024 housing market forecast and already there are some changes. So we're going to talk about those and then answer a question that people have been asking. Is now a good time to buy a home? So right after this, we'll get to that. So if you remember what, during our forecast, and if you haven't seen the video yet, I will put it in the end card so you can get access to it quickly and easily. And also down in the description below, I'll have a link. So when we talked about the forecast last uh, or two weeks ago, Fannie Mae was the most pessimistic as to where mortgage rates were heading. Matter of fact, their forecast by the end of 2024 had the mortgage rates a little over 7%. And I even commented in that video that that seemed a little pessimistic. Well, that has changed. We have a new headline here. Mortgage rates are expected to fall below 6% this year, according to Fannie Mae. So they've revised their forecast and we're happy to see that. So it's a little bit more in line. Actually, it's gone from the most pessimistic to now the most optimistic forecast that we see out there. And there's a couple reasons for that. So uh, the first one is the 10-year Treasury has already fallen nearly 1% from its peak in October. And the 10-year Treasury and 30-year mortgage rates are very closely tied together. In fact, historically, you can have about an average of 1.72% spread between the two indices. And right now, we're at a 2.78% spread between the 10-year Treasury and 30-year mortgage rates. What does that mean? That means we're expecting uh, mortgage rates to drop another 1% to get more in line with where the 10-year treasuries are. So that's downward pressure that uh, we're seeing in the market for mortgage rates. In addition, there's a forecast now from Goldman Sachs that they're anticipating a 25 basis points cut or a quarter percent cut in the Federal Reserve rate uh, in March, May, and June. And that has, again, significant downward pressure on the 10-year Treasury and 30-year mortgage rates. So those two things coupled together have us having lower uh, mortgage rates in the very near future. So how is that important to you and how does that influence your home buying decision? Well, right now, surveys show that the main reason people aren't in the uh, housing market to look to buy is mortgage rates. And so as those start to come down, people will start getting back into the market. That's once again going to cause upward pressure on prices because inventories are still at crazy low levels as we have so many people locked in the uh, sub 4% mortgages. They're not excited about um, putting their homes on the market unless they absolutely have to uh, if they're going to have to pay a higher mortgage rate. In addition, low inventory has been keeping people away. If we get uh, mortgage rates low enough, maybe we will see uh, more people putting their homes on the market and get a little bit of balancing act. But until we actually see that, it's going to be a tight mar market. And uh, so my advice is if you're interested in buying in the next 6 to 12 months, to start your shopping now. And you don't have to necessarily buy anything right now, but if you find something that you absolutely love, go ahead and buy it and make an offer on it. I don't know whether you can buy it or not, but make an offer on it. And here's why. Just because the uh, going rate right now is about 6.6 .6 or 6.7%, depending where you are in the country, doesn't mean that that's necessarily the rate you're going to pay. A lot of the mortgage lenders out there right now are offering really good programs to help lower uh, your interest rate, at least temporarily. A lot of them have what we call a 2-1 buy-down, where you buy that interest rate down to by 2 percentage points for the first year, and then 1% for the second year, then it goes back to the market rate now. The thought being is within that two-year period, if rates get low enough, that you can go ahead and refinance and lock in a lower, lower monthly payment. Many of those same lenders are offering uh, to waive or loan origination fees if you write, refinance with them within two years. So it's kind of a win-win to get you into a home today at probably a lower interest rate than, than you were suspecting that you could get into. In addition, we're seeing a number of sellers offering to pay those uh, two one down uh, buy downs as a, a seller concession, which if you look at buying down the mortgage rate, it saves you a lot more money than simply a $5,000 concession 
uh, that you might see otherwise. So keep that in mind. In addition, uh, real quick here, uh, a quote from uh, Mr. Tobin, who is the head of the Home Builders Association. Right now, home builders are offering tremendous rates if you were to buy a, a new home from them. Uh, often those rates are below 6%, so you're already getting a great deal. Uh, just one word of caution, though, as you move forward, what that agent that you see in the office uh, of a new builder only represents the builder. Unlike uh, regular real estate agents like myself and my daughter, we can uh, fairly represent both sides of a party uh, in a real estate transaction. Builders agents only represent the builder. So please bring a buyer's agent with you. Many of these builders are paying co-op fees that will more than cover the commission that a buying agent would expect. And so, um, and some of them, as a matter of fact, like DR Horton, want you to bring a buyer's agent because they want to make sure your interests are well represented. So a good idea to do that. They'll help you through the inspection and closing process, as well as help you with financing if, well, you're going to be going through the builder, so you don't need help with the financing on that one. But nonetheless, if you decide to go outside that and work with another lender, uh, your real estate agent can often connect you with good sources in the industry. Now, why do I say go out and start shopping now rather than later? As I pointed out earlier, with mortgage rates dropping, demand for homes in early 2024 will likely increase and be strong again. That's going to put pressure on prices and we could have another feeding frenzy potentially. I don't think we'll ever see anything like we saw in 21 and 22, but nonetheless, uh, if you get out there early and find the home that you love and can make an offer on it without having to compete with others, that's a win-win for you. So keep that in mind. Start your search now. Don't settle for something that you don't absolutely love right now. Get into the home that you love and then uh, worry about mortgage rates down the road because uh, you always have that ability to refinance later. As we say, uh, marry the house, date the rate. So, and with that, we're going to close out the video. I want to thank you for your attention. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please do so. And if you want to hear more about what's going on in the housing market and other helpful resources, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you on board. In addition, if you have any thoughts or comments that you want to add down below, please do so. Uh, we can get a conversation going. Would love to see that happening in the comment section below. Once again, thank you and... Have a great day.